Okay, item number three. Um, we have received of unconfirmed minutes. Um, we've got the Emergency Management Committee on the 10th of June. Uh, that's 3 bar 1 to 3 bar 6. We've got the late Focal Protection um, Joint Committee on the 20th of June. That is 3 bar 7 to 3 bar 11. Note the changes to the D, which is 3 bar 9. And then also we've got the Total Airport Authority Committee on the 8th of July, pages 3 bar 12 to 3 bar 15. The Turingi Tomaruro Community Board on the 9th of July, that's 3 bar 16 to 3 bar 19. And also the Audit Risk Committee, the 16th of July, um, pages 3 bar 20 to 3 bar 22. Now, can we, can we discuss each one or can we... Move them all together. It's, it's entirely up to you, Mr. Chair. Yeah. Okay, so I'll move them all together and we'll have discussion uh, looking at as a right now. So, can I have a mover and a seconder that they have during the direct? Uh, thank you, Councillor Johnson. Received. Uh, received, sorry. And second by Councillor Hacking. All those in favour? Aye. So, uh, I'll go for the first one. Um, the Emergency Management Committee. Is any matters arising over that? Councillors, no. Late total prediction project. Yeah, Council um, Williams. Yeah, just um, on with regards to the um, variation five. Um, have we, have we, or first of all, have we now paid out um, the, for the full, um, the final three million for the project? And the second part of the question is um, how, how does this committee? Um, what role will this committee have on an ongoing basis as far as monitoring, or, or does, does it become disestablished, or does it make it to the committee after this, um, those nitrogen levels to be removed, to be fulfilled? Yeah. Um, as far as the um, payment is concerned in the 13, 14 financial year, um, it will be paid by four instalments. That's what's been budgeted for and three by the committee. Um, hence, when we did the revised forecast for our financial end last year, or for the 30th of June, um, you would have noticed that compared to the month before, there was about a $3 million movement, and that could have moved that expense out of the 12, 13 year and put them in the 13, 14 year. Um, and as far as the committee is concerned, um, they have reduced the number of trustees on the side of the committee, but their focus and attention is still the same at this stage. Any other questions on the total prediction Okay, and um, the total airport authority is in the matters rising over there. Councillor Williams? Oh, it's just, um, first of all, um, is it possible t for us to see the, um, the A3 plan of the possible development areas? <coughs> um, I don't, I don't know. I didn't email. Oh, thank you. And, um, Oh, just, just a question. We, there was a um, discussion in the last council meeting about the New Zealand um, mm -hmm. withdrawing some of the, the uh, smaller aircraft from their fleet. Just, <coughs> has that affected our services, or, or is there any likelihood that it will affect our services? No, at the moment, we believe that they are upgrading three of their big 900 avionic upgrades. In we haven't had a reschedule put to us, so as far as we're aware, the schedule that runs at the moment is, is stands. Oh, that's okay. So. Yeah, thank you. Okay, um, the Turingi Tomarero Community Board. Right. Any yeah. Just to note the two resolutions from the board, um, 5107, <coughs> um, 3 bar 17 and 5110 on 3 bar 18. I'd just like to point out on um, the resolution 5110 uh, about the cooperation between um, local Papu uh, and uh, this council. I think that's a, a, a really great relationship. Um, 
for your example, where we were a local athlete, but uh, we a lot of the council talking out to this local community. Mm -hmm. Councillor Pickle, we've got that loaded. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other? Councillor Rosen? Okay, and the last one, the audit and the rest of the meeting.